Hey guys, it's uh, Bro you Wax. So you're probably wondering how Moira came about in today's video, why she's getting her top five video. Well, a long time ago, there was a man and a woman living in Ireland and they loved each other very much. So they decided to have some they decided to magically appear Mora through an experiment. This has nothing to do with the video. So the reason why I start off the video is because normally I have you guys vote for next week's top five video in the YouTube video that you're watching in the previous week. And in fact, for Soldier 76 videos, which I was so excited to do, uh, I almost had you guys vote in the top right hand corner. But then I realized, wait, I'm going to be going on vacation. And by the time you're watching this, I am on vacation. So I had to record this video early and I couldn't wait for the poll results on the 26th second because then you know I would already be on because it just wasn't gonna work out so instead of me just pulling out a hero and, and deciding what hero we're gonna be doing I left it up for my Twitter followers and if you didn't get to vote you don't follow me on Twitter shame on you because you don't get to vote for this week's top five video but it's too late now the polls over I'm doing it we're doing more uh, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> now, even though I did something different with my Twitter followers, you can vote for next week's top five video between Doomfist and Orissa right in the top right hand corner of this video. And I promise I will actually look the poll results and you don't have to follow me on Twitter. But if you want to follow me on Twitter, you can. I post funny Overwatch memes that you'll totally enjoy. But anyway, guys, now let's get into Mora's top five video. Mora is a brand new or a relatively brand new hero that hasn't experienced as much event skins, say compared to Mercy, say compared to Tracer or whatnot. So she doesn't have a lot of heat going on, but she has enough skins to the point where I can do a decent top five video and you'll be surprised with the top results. Hopefully, it might be a little bit obvious, but let's have some fun with it. Beginning our list at number five is gonna be somewhat of a bland skin, I will admit, but it gives me 2016 summer vibes because that's when the first summer games came about for Overwatch. And this is gonna be Aranach. And I actually looked up how to pronounce that so nobody from Ireland can like hate on me. Knowing me, I still probably mispronounced it, but obviously this is supposed to pay homage to her heritage or where she's from, Ireland. It has the Ireland flag colors with green, white, and orange. Not much else to say. Again, a lot of these type of skins came out with the 2016 Summer Games event because at the time of Summer 2016, that's when the Olympics were going on. So it made sense to one, have the Summer Games take place in 2016 and two, have a little bit more country oriented skins. But then a lot of people really didn't like it because they were so bland. But you know, I still appreciate it, especially for a brand new hero to receive an event skin. Even though it might be bland, it's still cool, especially for from Ireland, especially if you're a Mormon, you probably really like this. But next up for number four is going to be my very first Mora skin. I love to rock the skin because I'm emo and it kind of reminds me of my uh, emo side, but <laughs> this is going to be Moon. So when it comes to the two legendary skins, I like Moon a whole lot more than Glam. And some people won't be wondering like, oh, why didn't you have Glam at the number five spot? And it's all because I don't really like to separate the two base legendary skins into different spots of the list. I feel like that's cheating when making the list when I can include other skins like the fifth one. When it comes to Moon and Glam, they're bas not basically the same skin because they're two different color palettes and two different face paints, but they're two of the same inspired like skins, which is kind of like a David Bowie inspiration. Like whenever I look at Glam, it reminds me so much of David Bowie, that classic face paint that he's always rocking, but I don't really like it when compared to Moon because like I said, I like all black and I figure it's more fitting for Mora because Mora is kind of an emo character. Would you agree? No, that's just me. All right. <laughs> While Glam might be a little bit more colorful with the orange and the pink moon, I, it's just way more fitting. And I really do like the face paint that she has going on. She has the moon crescent right there and then like a triangle face thing on the side of her face. I don't know, it, it looks really cool in my eyes, but then over time, it kind of wore off on me. I don't know, for whatever reason, I don't really like it, especially when compared to the number three spot. Because the number three skin is gonna be a skin that definitely grew on me over time. It took some time, but once I started looking at it more and more, I definitely appreciate the colors and how it looks, and this is gonna be Minister. So Minister obviously has that space color gradient color palette going on right there, with the star sparkles seen throughout on her sleeves and then the purple the pinks and a little bit of blues all over the place it is just oh it's so beautiful remember back in like 2012 when space was the thing to rock on your shoes on your clothes or whatnot and that fad quickly faded away for whatever reason i like that time period because I don't know, I just like space colors. Here, it's literally the embodiment of that 2012 fad. I just kind of find it funny how Mora literally has a skin called Moon, and while it does actually have a crescent moon on her face, Minister 
is space. It like the, the look is space with stars, possibly a moon somewhere. I don't really see it anywhere. Why wouldn't they name Minister Moon and Moon Minister? There's probably a reason why that I didn't look up before this. And probably because Moon literally has a moon on her face, but I just kind of find it ironic. But nonetheless, it still looks really cool. I love the colors. It is so beautiful. It took me a while to really appreciate it, but man, why didn't I like this one before? Oasis? Uh, it's all right, but when compared to Minister, dog, the colors cannot compare. Minister is far more beautiful than Oasis. I would take this over Oasis 10 times out of 10. Plus, why are they running out of names for skins? Oasis is literally a skin name for Smash. Ah, uh, just... Uh, yeah, that's why I, I probably also don't like Oasis, is the fact that Symmetra had it first. But, Minister, oh, beautiful! Mwah. But now we're at the top two best Mora skins. You probably guessed that both of these skins would be at the number one and number two spot. One, because they're event skins, which, by the way, never feed into the hype. Just because it costs 3,000 credits, just because it's rare, doesn't mean it's better than some of these other skins. But they are better than these other skins, so you can feed into the hype this time. But for number two, you probably guessed that this would be the number two spot because it's very plain, but I, I still like it. This is Blackwatch. So coming with the 2018 archive event came a game mode that so many people love because it featured lore. Any single time Overwatch has any kind of lore, game mode, story, comic, people fall in love with it because we don't ever get anything revolved around lore. We never got a campaign. We rarely ever get to lore game modes which I hope Blizzard decides to make more like campaign style missions because it seems like a lot of people really like it. I'm getting ahead of myself. Coming with the 2018 archive event came a Blackwatch game mode that featured the Blackwatch team, Genji, McCree, Reaper, and our main girl Mura all rocking their Blackwatch uniforms. Now with the 2017 Uprising event came a much better batch of Blackwatch uniforms because when we look at Mura's uniform, it's pretty plain, but she's a plain girl. She's not really a flashy girl when compared to like Genji or whatnot that has a bunch of wires that has his left titty coming out. I don't really think they can have Moira's left titty come out. Maybe, but probably not. <laughs> now, it being her first event skin, it's a solid introduction to the skin world for Moira, but we can all admit it's extremely plain. I mean, it's a uniform skin. We saw this with a bunch of other talent skins, like with Doomfist and Sombra, even though I really like Sombra's skin. This one, as she receives a few more event skins, this one is easily going to get overshadowed and probably pushed out of the top five. But for the time being, it's a good one. The colors are great, black, or at least here, metallic gray and red, but Black watch, so I'm gonna call it black and red. Good color palette. The hat is interesting, but again, it's kind of fitting for Mora. And uh, yeah, really not much to say about the Black Watch skin. It's an event skin that is a little bit better than her base legendary skins and costs a little bit extra, which kind of ups its value a little bit more. But Ladies and gentlemen, we finally reached the number one best Mora skin. I can't make a joke with this because there's not a lot of other Mora skins that look bad. A lot of Mora skins don't look bad at all. It, they just look a little bit boring, but not the number one skin because this skin blew my mind. It is maybe top 10 because of the story, because of how it looks. It definitely grew on me. Ladies and gentlemen, the number one best Mora skin is Banshee. So when this skin first came out, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I glanced right over it because it was overshadowed by so many other amazing skins with the 2018 Halloween event, that be it like the Pumpkin Hammond skin, or the, the Farrah Armor skin, or even the Slasher Soldier 76 skin. Anytime Soldier's gonna get a skin that is fire, you know it's gonna overshadow any other skin. So when I was making my top 10 list of the best Halloween skins, I actually wanted to look at what Banshee was all about, because I'm not gonna hate on the skin if I clearly don't know the inspiration behind it. And once I found out what a Banshee is, I fell in love with it. One, because of the story, and two, of how it looks. But what a Banshee is, is basically a female spirit, or a ghost, if you will, from Ireland. It's the ghost of Irish mythological folklore, and it's so fitting for the character Mora. One, because, well, that's where she's from. She's from Ireland, so it's fitting, because no other character can get a Banshee skin besides her. And two, she looks like a Banshee to begin with. Over time, I started to think that the character Mora herself was basically inspired from a Banshee, basically inspired from an elongated female ghost spirit thing. The backstory is amazing, it's so fitting for the character Moira, and she looks so beautiful, even though she's supposed to be a menacing, scary ghost. When you think of ghosts, you really think of them being, like, pretty or beautiful, but for whatever reason, Blizzard made it so. Maybe it's the color palette, maybe it's her eyes, 
I don't know, she looks creepy, but she looks beautiful at the same time. But what I'm trying to say here is that this is a skin that I didn't appreciate before, but once I actually took time to research it, it didn't grow on me over time. It grew on me instantly because I now appreciate Irish culture and where the skin is inspired from. And that's the kind of Blizzard charm that I feel like recently, Blizzard's just kind of been missing with some of these skins. This is a skin that obviously looks cool, but there's a reason for it to be in the game because more was from Ireland and it's the Hall Halloween events so it's just firing on all cylinders on the inspiration and you know me I've been saying time and time again that Blizzard's kind of been missing that inspiration but when it comes to the Halloween event when it comes to Banshee oh man did they hit it out of the park with some of these skins but anyway guys that is my list of the top five best Mora skins please let me know in the comments down below what your favorite Mora skin is even though she really doesn't have a lot of event skins I really hoped that she would have received a winter skin so I can make this a better list but nonetheless she has a, a solid lineup of skins a little bit lackluster compared to other heroes that I've talked about in the past that's why I kind of saved it till the end but either way Mora good hero I have a lot of fun with her even though she's a little bit broken but either way good lineup of skins so i love you guys thank you guys for watching more of our videos to come and bye